I'm April and we're at the, the 15th annual Chef's Gala. I'm standing here with Ava Williamson, I'm the general manager at the Saloon Steakhouse. Saloon Steakhouse. Now, Ava, tell us about what the specialty is here. What you got uh, grilling well, up we're, here? Well, we're famous for steaks, but tonight we're serving a beef tenderloin slider with uh, blue cheese fondue and grilled onions. It's delicious. Okay, wonderful. Now, where can we learn more about the cuisine at the at the, uh, at the Our website steakhouse? is uh, www.saloonsteakhouse.com, and uh, we have all our menus, special events coming out. We even have our Chef Boris blog has a blog, so you can learn all the stuff for fun stuff we're doing in there. Fantastic, and good luck with the contest. Thank you very much. Where, which area do you think? Which category do you think that uh, you guys are going to try out for or win? You know, we're hoping for uh, guest favorite. <laughs> okay, well it's a people's choice, yeah. and I'm April Lawson for Intellectual Radio. I'm here with Chef Maxilal of Bistronomy. Yes. How you doing, Maxilal? Wonderful, how are you, sir? I'm doing wonderful. Now, you're located on Wabash? Wabash. 840 North Wabash. Okay, and you've been open, what, uh, it's been under a year, correct? One year. One year. Uh, now, what are you serving here tonight, tonight at, at this event? I'm serving uh, homemade country pâté. With, uh, uh, with uh, baguette croton, Dijon mustard, and cornichon. Okay, you mind if I have a taste? Yes, sir. Please. Taste it? Okay. Try it. Now, pâté is, is it some kind of duck? Pâté is like, uh, how you call this? Um, it's, you, you take uh, pork and chicken liver and spice, uh, salt, you know, anything you want, and you mix together, and you put in the terrine. And you cook it in the oven, like almost like a meat loaf. Now, what's uh, some of the other dishes that you serve at Bistronomy? Uh, we serve uh, crispy white fish with a lentil vinaigrette. We serve uh, lamb shoulder with uh, couscous saffron and spice. We serve. Uh, oh man, you're making me hungry. Couscous, that's a uh, Middle Eastern uh, dish. Yes. We serve uh, homemade ravioli, like hostel homemade ravioli. We do uh, wow. pasta, we do anything you want. Now, if I want to come to Bistronomy, where, where is your location? 840 North Wabash. I am here with Chef Marcia of uh, Bistronomy. This is April, and I'm standing next to the one and only Chef Jimmy Bonos from Heaven on Seven. Now, Heaven on Seven, for those of you who don't know, that is a Chicago favorite. Talk to us about how long you've been around, what you got serving up over here, and one of the things that I know when I've been on Heaven on Seven is you've got a billion and one hot that sauces. Right. There's hot sauce on every table. There's at least 40 things of hot sauce on exactly. this table. So you let's talk about it. You were yet when I opened that restaurant. Oh, wow. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say 21, but no, it's, it's uh, actually uh, February 4th. We're uh, celebrating our, our uh, 32nd uh, anniversary. Which we're really, which we're really excited at the original location on Wabash in Washington. Tonight we have uh, chicken and dewy sausage gumbo and uh, okay. having fun. You know? All right, well you got to serve some, serve some up for me. Let me have oh, some. Oh, Andrew, we need to have some gumbo. Definitely. And some cornbread. Oh, perfect. Now we got to get the hot sauce going on. Which game would you want to we're definitely going to put the hot sauce on. Jump up and kiss me. Jump up and kiss me, hot sauce. Let's see a little. Okay, yes. perfect. Just make sure you mix that up. Otherwise. Okay. Can you hold this? I will. Thank you. I like this. See, Maybe I should already, start. You're already a gaffer. Exactly. <laughs> we start singing right now when we're in good shape. Mm. Perfect. Seven on seven. I hope and she what likes kind of hot sauce was it? Jump up and kiss me. With a jump up and kiss me hot sauce. <laughs> Which is appropriate for Valentine's Day. Oh, very good. I think so. Hey, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm here with Chef Mike Barkowskis of Hugo's Frog Bar. How you doing, Mike? I'm doing very well. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, I'm sorry, Hugo's Frog Bar and Fish House, right? There you go. <laughs> now tell me, uh, what are you serving here tonight? Here we have a, a, a little play on tuna sashimi. It's a compressed watermelon. It's infused with soy, and it's got a cucumber wasabi foam on top. And then we have a pan-seared diver sea scallop with a maple gastrique and smoked bacon. Okay, now uh, sashimi is a type of sushi? It is. It's a, just the raw, the raw tuna. We tried to mimic here by compressing watermelon, really try to impact that flavor, infuse it with a really high-end soy sauce, and then we did a, a nice foam on top. Okay, you now, I'm going to uh, taste this right here. Thank you, Chef. Bought one bite. Clean, refreshing. This is wonderful. Hey, go. 
Like wasabi and DMV turn? That's what it... <laughs> Let me get my voice. Yeah, I got my voice. Now, wasabi is... See? Japanese, we one of the hottest Japanese sauces, right? We actually use Jap Japanese uh, horseradish root. Okay, now I'm gonna get one of over here. The, it's it's here, diver sea scallop. It's very good. I'm here with Hugo's Frog Bar Fish House, Chef Michael Barkowskis. Thank you, Chef. Thank you very much. Enjoy your evening. I'm with Chef Scott Halverson, and the name of your restaurant is? Prasino. Ah, what kind of cuisine are you serving at Brasi? Uh, we do a modern American, a little bit of everything. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, seven days a week. Okay. Organic, sustainable. That's eclectic, very eclectic. Yeah. Now, what are you serving up tonight for this contest? We have our tuna tartare on a little sesame cracker, uh, tombo tuna, a little spicy mayo, wasabi caviar, avocado, and anagi sauce. So that, that that's very Asian-inspired. Very. But you still got... Some let you know some uh, South American accents in there too. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of everything. We especially try with the one bite. We try to pack as many flavors we can into one little dish. So that you can get wow, that's interesting. I'm gonna try it and tell you what I think. Okay, you got a lot of texture, and you got so many different. Yeah, crunchy, sweet, spicy. We got sweet, salty. spicy, salty, yeah. all happening. It's like, it's like a party in my mouth. It's just a party. It's very festive. And good luck to you, Chef. Thank you very much. Chef Scott Halverson. Good to see me in Prasina Wicker Park, LaGrange. Thank you. Okay, and if we want to find out more about your restaurant, where would we go? Prasino.com. P R A S I N O.com. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. I'm here with Michael Jordan's Steakhouse Restaurant. Nikki Akina, how you doing, Nikki? I'm doing quite well. How are you? Doing good. Now y'all just opened up in October uh, 2011. We did. It was actually August, August 23rd. August 23rd. Okay. Now, what's some of the dishes that y'all serve there besides steak? Oh, uh, well, we do. Our our main focus is uh, prime dry aged beef. But we have some wonderful entrees. We have a lovely salmon, a scallop dish, some great salads that we serve at lunch, and then um, one of my favorites is our prime carpaccio, which is what we're serving tonight. Okay. Now, carpaccio is an Italian dish. Uh, it is. It's um, raw beef. Uh, we use dry aged beef. It has a little bit of pine nuts some smoked sea salt, a little bit of sarvecchio cheese, the arugula, and then it's finished with a little bit of mustard seed oil, which gives it a little kick. Yes, it does. I definitely can taste the mustard. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Now, if I want to come, where are you located? We're at 505 North Michigan, right next to the Tribune building, and next door to the Intercontinental Hotel. I'm here with Michael Jordan's restaurant, Steakhouse, Michael Nikki Akini. That's right, Michael Jordan's Steakhouse. Thank you. My pleasure with Chef Trevor Hoyt tonight and he's an interesting chef because he, he specializes in new urban cuisine which is something really new. Tell, uh, tell us more about that. All right well first welcome and thank you all for having us here at the Grand Chef Gala. Um, new urban cuisine IPO uh, stands for initial public offering located in, in the financial district so it's a little acronym to that. New urban cuisine is a little, my take on contemporary American flavors, textures, so it's me putting a little bit of different twists, my twist, my interpretation on these flavors. And these flavors can go from a little bit of taking a lot of different in influences from around um, different ex ethnicities, urban backgrounds. So, you know, Chicago is urban, so it's an urban city. It's a melting pot. So it's a melting pot. It's a melting so, pot. Now, yeah. Tell us what this is that you're serving and what's in it. Okay, so this evening we have some braised beef cheeks, hanshijimi mushrooms, which is a Japanese mushroom, yes, yes it is. buckwheat, and we have some truffle cauliflower puree. Okay. It's absolutely amazing. You have to try it. Okay, I'm going to try it. All right, great. <laughs> How is it? it tastes like gourmet urban soul food <laughs> because you've got all these different and I love that you you also are putting on um, as a nice garnish yeah. here the I've what got are, a little bit of microgreens we have microgreens uh, yeah so I'm getting a whole cornucopia of taste and also I'm gonna stay nice and healthy and thin in this dress continually <laughs> because 
I have the greens happening right here. So good luck to you, Trevor, tonight. Absolutely. Thank you very much, and thanks for having us. Oh, one more thing. If anyone wants to find out more about IPO, where do we go, and how do we find out? IPO Restaurant is located in the W Hotel City Center, um, right across Adams and Wells, right in the corner. Everyone knows the W, so it's very easy. Or you can go to IPORestaurant.com and check us out. We are also on Facebook and, and Twitter, so please follow us and um, come in and have dinner. And that's Chef Thanks Trevor so. Hoyt at IPO. Good luck to you, Trevor. Thank you so much. I'm with Adarsha Townsend. I bumped into Adarsha Townsend at the 15th annual uh, Chef's Grand Gala. Adarsha, you are a classic foodie. Tell me what, what are some of your, your favorites? Your favorite favorites tonight? restaurants here today? Well, to here right, okay. tonight. Well, actually, two of my favorites are restu restaurants that have not even opened. They're not even opening until next month or the next or sometime in the spring. Okay. Grace, which is right behind us. Curtis Duffy, who was at Avenues. Um, he's one of my favorites. He was doing like a butternut squash soup. Mm. It was so delicious. It had this aromatic thing going on that, you know, he's, he's from the whole generation. He, was, he worked with... Um, Alinea's Grant Ackett. You work with Alinea? Yes, he oh, was there. Yeah. Alinea is a five-star restaurant. It's one of the best in Chicago. You gotta like, you gotta, you gotta schedule what? Red, reserve. You have to get a reservation. Three months, months to advance. six months. Yes. Right. Grant Ackett. But go Absolutely. ahead. Rockstar chef. Keep telling me. So uh, Curtis Duffy was there, and then he was at Avenues, and now he's on his own. And his restaurant's here tonight, representing. But he's not opening until uh, sometime this spring in the West Loop. So we got a good taste of his food. And then also the Trencherman, which I'm also really excited about. The two brothers are Michael Sharon and Patrick Sharon. Michael Sharon was um, he was a chef at Blackbird. And his brother oh, okay, was yeah. the executive chef at uh, the Signature Room. So a very exciting project. It's from the guys, uh, the other owners of that. They also own uh, Duchamp and Bar de Ville and um, Bangers and Lace. So that's a project that's also something highly anticipated this spring. Okay, so then we don't know who you're going to vote for yet. So I've already vote voted. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> but at least you. we got the lowdown on what rising stars the, to be looking the for. The fact that these uh, restaurants are here and they're not opening until this spring, so we got a really good preview here. That's a really good thing because a lot of restaurants usually don't, they're usually open already. But the fact that they were here and they were here, they're not even open and they did a preview, they had some of the longest lines here tonight. And that's awesome. Well, then that says a lot. And I can't have to say that Curtis Duffy is a two-star Michelin recipient. And that's going to be a real, really, really big deal. Yes. And not only that, but as you can tell, she's still very much a fashionista rocking the the wonderful blue. So not only are PCB we, are we having always. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so not only are we having fantastic food, but we got crazy fashion up in here as well. Party Update TV.